Welcome in to the DFS Den. It's Dave Eddy here, a.k.a. Corporal Eddy on Twitter. Back again after opening day yesterday. Had a small 4% ROI profit, so can't really complain. Had one takedown, but nothing nothing too crazy. All in all, I'd say pretty good start to, you know, the first, first day of the season whenever, you know, we really don't have any, you know, current data to go off of. Like I said, it's going to be tell about June before we have really solid data that we can dig into. So we got to just trust the process for now and it's proven to be a winner. So let's go ahead, hop into things for today. And, you know, I talk about how much I, you know, typically like to try to limit the volatility, um, you know, that I can in, in DFS here, especially MLB. It's very volatile, kind of just the nature of the beast. So when it comes to pitching, almost always, you know, we're up at the tip top, um, you know, paying up for pitching. Like I said, trying to limit the volatility there a little bit. And we had a guy up there yesterday, Garrett Cole. He absolutely dominated, was was fantastic, absolutely the right call. Today, though, we're looking a little bit different. We don't have, you know, the, the big aces like we did on opening day all across the board. Of course, we do have a smaller slate here, um, just six games. But... We're not looking at the tippy top here at pitching. I'm actually looking at the uh, middle and somebody near the bottom. So uh, it's just the way that the numbers, you know, lead me. And, you know, you got to just, you got to trust them because the process has proven to work over and over again. So with that being said, um, head and shoulders um, above the rest today for me, as far as pitching is concerned, is Christian Javier. He's going up against the, the White Sox. And, you know, he's a guy who just, like I said, he just really stands out. Um, Pretty consistent as far as, you know, Ks per inning. So we're looking for, you know, six six innings and, you know, seven plus strikeouts today. And on that Astros team, of course, every game, you know, it's got the strong potential for a win. So like him far and above everybody else today, um, being that it's a small slate, I'm not even going to cap his exposure. If I get 100% Christian Javier today, which I probably will, I'm totally fine with that. And then the other guy I'm looking at here is David Peterson, you know, going up against the Marlins here. He's a guy that, you know, I, I think is kind of underrated. Um, he's he's always done well, um, you know, when given the opportunity. So he's a guy that that, that I'm interested in here today. Um, and again, it, it's kind of just because of, you know, who else is, who else is available. So even though we're paying quite a bit down here at, at pitcher, that's where I'm looking. Um, let's go ahead and move on over to offense. And we will start off with the top stack of the day. For me, um, there's there's a few different options here that, that are all viable. Um, you know, I would argue that either the Dodgers, the Padres, or my pick, the Mariners, are the best play today. Those three definitely stand out above the rest. Having to pick one, though, it is going to be Seattle for me. And part of the reason for that is I just simply, you know, think that we play a little bit of an ownership game here because the Dodgers and Padres, they're going to be much more popular, especially um, especially the Padres. And so we can get some leverage on the field here by by going with Seattle. And I've actually got them rated as the top stack anyways, even though, like I said, it is really close. So I'm going with my top stack on the board. And I'm gaining leverage as far as, you know, ownership is concerned. So really like um, Seattle as my top stack today. And then as far as the hitters that we're, um, we're looking at, if I'm, you know, obviously sticking with um, Seattle, I, I always give you, you know, my top play, the guy that I plan on having in every one of those stacks. And for me, that's former Tiger, Yuanio Osares. Um, he batted six last night. I, I think he's more likely to bat, you know, three, three, four, or five, um, you know, today. He's going up against Lance Lynn, so it's not exactly a fantastic matchup. Or, I'm sorry, he's going up against um, Gaddis. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking ahead to my next guy. But, you know, it is a righty versus righty matchup, so not ideal necessarily. I, you know, we talk about how I prefer the lefty versus righty, so I could have gone with like a Colton Wong. But, but Suarez is kind of the guy I'm looking at here. You know, he does have a lot of swing and miss to his game, but when he makes contact, he usually does so with authority. So I could see him having a monster game today. So with my Seattle stacks, he's going to be our priority. 
Other guy that I'm looking at is someone from Houston. I could argue Jordan. I could offer um, Kyle Tucker to you as well. I'm going to go with Tucker just because he is $500. I'm sorry, $700 cheaper on DraftKings. Both of them have a lefty versus righty matchup. Both of them up against um, Lance Lynn. So you couldn't really go wrong either way. If I'm, you know, doing a stack with Houston, I will probably, you know, be looking to have both of those guys in there, especially since they're going to be batting so close together in the lineup. But that's what I'm looking at for today. Hopefully we have another profitable day here to finish out um, March, our whole second day into March. But if you haven't done so yet, go drop a like on this video. Let me know that you've enjoyed, you know, the content here and that, you know, you followed along with us yesterday. And go ahead, pop on over here, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get an alert every time a new video comes out. We'll see you tomorrow.